hello guys welcome back to good share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the last of us part one error you don't have to uh in you don't have enough system and the video memory to start the game this is happening for many of the users right now so we're going to talk about this and how to fix this app that's what we're going to do here so the first thing is all about you should check what is the minimum requirement to play this game so many of the users is having this trouble because they don't have enough spec okay so to run the game like the last of us part one you should be having at least i'll be showing you that so just go over here search for last of us so here if you check this you will be able to understood that to run the game like start of us you should be having at least over here if you check uh, the requirement over here the minimum requirement is over here you should be having at least 16 gb of ram so those users who are having uh, this one that is the issue with right now which is happening to many of the users they don't have 16 gb ram that is why they're ending up this issue so at least you should be having a 60 gb ram so if you don't have a 60 gb ram for example if you're having a ram of 8 4 or 2 you'll be definitely having this error so only the one solution is first upgrade your ram that is what you have to do so if you don't know how to check the ram you can do this so just go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to system at the top keep scrolling down and go to about now from here if you check you will be understood there is my ram is 32 gb so for me there is no issue with this game but for you guys who are having the trouble make sure you are having 16 gb as a minimum or above it if you are having lower you will be having the trouble so if you are having lower graphics i mean you are having lower ram then you just need to uh, update the ram i mean you have to increase the ram you can purchase it one and virtually you can add it up that is what you have to do next one is all about we need to increase uh, i mean we need to uh, update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd so if you're on the M uh, nvidia you can uh, you'll be landing on this page now select the product type product series product operating system language everything so hence i'm in windows 11 i'm gonna select windows 11 and go for start search so once you go for start search you'll be getting the latest released one over here if you scroll down you'll be understood that is the driver version 531.41 which is released on march 23 2023 is the latest versions and if you scroll down you can see there are many more options like this so just download the respective one from here and install it on your PC or laptop, then restart your PC and try to launch the game after updating the graphics card. The NVIDIA users have to do the same. So if you're on the AMD, just go to another link, which will take you to this. And from here, you will be able to go to submit. Now that will take you to this one. From here, you need to download the Windows 11. If you're on Windows 11, if you're on Windows 10, download this one. If you're on Windows 7, download this one. Once you download and install this, restart your PC and try to play the game. Most probably by updating the graphics card, even if after having minimum requirement, try updating the graphics card. This did work out for many users, so you can try this out. So uh, next step is all about, we need to go over here. Next step is all about, we need to roll back the driver. So there is one more thing. Some users, when they updated the graphics card, especially those users on the NVIDIA, when they updated the graphics card to the latest version, that is, let's say, uh, the, uh, which is released on 23 March 2023, when they downloaded this and installed this, what happens is the issue became more severe. So if that is the case, you need to roll back the driver. For that first, once you have, you have already downloaded the latest version, so we need to roll back for that right click over here, go to task man, sorry, not task manager, right click and go to device manager. Now go to display adapters, select the NVIDIA graphics card, go to properties, go to driver. There will be an option called roll back the driver. So roll back the driver. Once after that, you just need to go back to the same link. Instead of downloading the latest version 531.41, which is released on March 2023, try downloading a little bit older version. So if you scroll down, you will be able to understood there is a released version on 8th, 2023. Even we have 20, February 28th, older versions are available over here. So just download the little bit older one. So let's say download this one and install this. Restart your PC and try to play the game. This did work out for many users. Lowering the graphics card, I mean, uh, rolling back the graphics card did work out for many users. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory. For that, we need to go over here, go for view advanced system settings. So if it's just search for view advanced system setting, open this, 
Now from here, go to advanced, click on settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. And over here, we can find this. This should be unchecked. Then only you'll be able to select the local disk. So this is selected. You will not be able to select the local disk. So uh, uncheck this, go for local disk C. So this is where the game is installed. So select the respective local disk where the game is installed. And once after that, go for custom size. Give the value initial size as well as maximum size. So initial size is always uh, you need to do the calculation. So like I said, I know what is my RAM. You can uh, find the RAM of the computer by going through like this. Go to settings, go to system at the top, keep scrolling down, go to above. From here, you will be understood what is your RAM. So here in my case, it is 32 GB. So I have to close this. Now I need to give the value for initial size and maximum size. I need to calculate it. So initial size is 32 GB is the RAM. I have to multiply it with 1024. It's a constant value. That brings me 32,000. 768 now i have to multiply it with 1.5 because uh, initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so i have to go for the maximum size so i need to calculate it once again that is 32 gb into 1024 that brings me 32768 and i have to multiply it with 3 that brings me 90304 so why did i multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3 times the total ram so i have to give this value over here once it is done just close everything and go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search. Now go to graphics settings. From here, as you can see, I have already added the game. So if you for the first time, click on the browse. Now go to this PC, go to local C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Go to common, sorry, go to Steam apps, go to common, keep scrolling down and navigate to the last of us. Now from here, we need to select the respective one. So here I have already added for uh, the last of us. So, uh, sorry, this is last epoch. Okay. So somewhere I have added this. Okay. As you can see, once it is added, you will be able to see this up. Once after that, just click on the option. Make sure if it will be by default, let Windows decide. Now change this to high performance so that when you launch the game, it will be utilized. NVIDIA GeForce RTX will be utilized in the background, which will uh, minimize the issue regarding all these things and go for save. Once after that, just close this, go back and try to play the game. And this is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye-bye.